This is the third part of our series about astrolobes. In this part, we'll be using an ephemeris. An ephemeris is a table that shows where the sun, the moon, and the planets will be at specific times. There are a number of good sources of these tables available on the internet. I'll be using data from this site, which provides downloadable listings for a period from 5000 BC to the year 3999. This covers the dates I will need. Here is an example. This shows the positions of the planets during the month of August 2019. Here, for example, is the list of the Sun's location. Here is the Moon, Mercury, Venus and so on. Let's focus on the 20th of August 2019. The first thing we want to know is what is the phase of the Moon and at what time will it rise? Well, at midnight, universal time, the Sun's position is 27 degrees in Leo. If we place the reed so that this is on 180 degrees, this shows the position of the sky at local midnight. The Moon is on 16 degrees in Aries, so the difference shows that the Moon is waning and about halfway between being full and its last quarter. This is known as a waning gibbous moon. The relative position of the Moon, when the Sun is on the 180 degree line, shows what phase it is in. Since we know that this is the position of the Moon, we can place it on the horizon line to see when moonrise will occur. At the time the Moon rises, the Sun will be below the horizon, but its location on the ecliptic can still be used to tell us the time. The time of the moonrise will be about 8.45 local time. That is about 7.45 clock time. The ephemeris tells us the position of the planets at midnight universal time. Here in the UK, local time is pretty well lined up with universal time. If you live somewhere where local time is different, you really should interpolate the positions. For example, in a time zone 8 hours behind universal time, the moon will be about a third of the way towards its position on the 21st, by the time your local midnight occurs. The table shows the moon's zodiac position changes about 12 degrees on this day, so that would be about 4 degrees in a third of the day. So the moon's position would be about 20 degrees in Aries, if you're in California, for example. The sun only moves about a degree each day, so the required adjustments will be much less. The planet Jupiter travels around the ecliptic even more slowly than the Sun. The ephemeris shows that on the 20th of August it's at about 15 degrees in Sagittarius. It'll show up best when it is high in the sky when the Sun is set. When will that be? And where should we be looking for it? The reed always rotates clockwise, so Jupiter is behind the Sun at this time. This means it'll be best to look for it just after the sun has set. The sun sets at about 7.20. So let's see where Jupiter is at, say, 8pm. If the reet is rotated to 8pm, then 15 degrees in Sagittarius is about 16 degrees above the horizon and about 11 degrees to the west of south. So, if we're trying to find Jupiter, that's where we should be looking. This has been the third part of the series about astrolabe.